Hello and welcome in my video where I'm gonna talk about gold and exactly how I make gold. I haven't paid for WoW since Warlords of Draenor, not only game time but game itself because you can use tokens to purchase games so why not? Why should I pay for it? Small note, uh, prices I'm gonna talk about depends on the server. I'm uh, on server in the EU, so obviously prices are different than NA. So you need to keep that in mind. However, however, I show you stuff that usually sell. So yeah. I really hope it's gonna help you out, whoever you are. But remember one thing, best way to earn gold is to stop spending gold. Which means, I have alts sorted out right away. Whenever the expansion comes, I level my alts, mostly two of them, and rest is just pure for professions. In Shadowlands you can uh, level up your professions without even needing a level. No quests, no BS uh, and stuff like that. However, if you want to do vessels for legendary then you have to be max level otherwise you can do chain quest to unlock it. But if, if you don't need it then yeah, whatever, like alchemy, no problem. So I level my professions right away, now I have them all leveled, uh, most of them I just don't need it, but I have just in case, because 9.1 uh, will come and probably new recipes, new stuff, so I will better start leveling those characters. Anyway, let's go. I'll show you how to make some gold. My main source of gold comes from pets. I do every world quest that gives pet battle charms. I do it in Shadowlands and in BFA content. So every day I check Zandalar, Kultiras, Najatar and invasions with Vision of Nezov. And Mechagon, of course. Today is 27th of February. I did earn 97 uh, pet battle charms per character. I did it like 8 times. So I earned 776 pet battle charms in one day. I came to Shadowlands when it launched with almost 10,000 of them. So whenever I unlocked any kind of pet I could buy with them, I bought and put it on auction house right away. Now obviously there is a competition with uh, prices, but it's still really nice to sell, so you better start doing those world quests, hey! Time on some rocket science! Not... obviously not. Callings. Daily quests, basically. All you have to do is few uh, complete few world quests or whatever and just get bag uh, filled with goodies those goodies mostly gray items sells for almost uh, 2000 gold uh, while doing callings you pick up herbs or skins gray items blue green items so basically to 2000 something per character it's so much money Of course, it's it's not like awesome grinding for gold and etc. But you can earn token just by playing a game, which is great because you can pay for game without much much effort. Doing dailies, the world quest callings is is not that bad. 
especially if you grind pets, mounts, uh, achievements, it's, it's really nice. So yeah, a lot of gold. And also bag you get for 10k over exalted gives between 3.5 to 5k gold. Free gold! Another way how I make easy gold is crafting. Thanks to Venari rep I can make 168 item level blue gear. Lots of people leveling alt so they want uh, geared up right away so they can start heroics, go fast to mythics, LFR etc. And that's where we come with our crafted gear. It's not a lot because each item sells between 4 to 6k, but when you stack it, you get quite nice amount of gold. Obviously, let's, let's not forget about vessels. The legendary vessels I sell for a lot. Uh, level 3 and 4 sells mostly. Level 2 a bit, and now level 1 doesn't sell at all. It's just pointless to actually sell it, give it to someone who needs it. Pants level 3 um, from blacksmithing I sold 3 times today. Around 37k gold per one pair. That's how I make gold. But if on your realm prices are similar, you're gonna earn your token in like a week. There are also like herbing, flasks. Just use your professions. Make benefit out of it. Flask sells for a lot as well. I mean a lot. 1k something per flask. If you're this kind of person who likes to collecting herbs, yeah, make a flasks. Potions. Actually potions are worth much more. But I don't. I, I craft gear because I don't like to run around for herbs. And when I do, I use them for myself. Apparently it's nice to uh, sell mats over just flasks, so yeah, that's another way to make gold. I know for sure that enchants are worthless. I mean, materials are more expensive than enchants itself, which is just ridiculous. It never been like that, but I just enchant my characters and don't bother selling it because it's just worthless. I rather spend my time on gathering herbs or mining ore or even farming old pets or pet battle, whatever. Just no enchanting, just no. Crafting is not only the current expansion. I use blacksmith to craft old uh, gear. Time, time walking, not time walking, Pandaria, um, Throne of Thunder items, Stormforge items, yeah. Uh, Corium from TBC. Uh, there is so many potentials, so much gold uh, deep into transmog market. So whenever I have mats, I just craft something for transmog. I have like 12 items on the auction house and they sell over time. Transmog sells different than pets, but it sells. It sells. Uh, weapons from, from Stormforge uh, on Throne of Thunder sells for like 60,000. 60 depends which level of course the highest level i sold for 98000 on my realm just use your profession as good as you can there is so much gold people are willing to pay for old stuff that they didn't get to complete transmog etc just be smart make some gold Another way I acquire gold is by farming old content, not that old as, as you might think, and look for the pets. Rare pets from rare bosses, mobs, really, really nice to sell. Which pets? Cuddly from Veil vale of Eternal Blossom when uh, Nzov 
invasion is there. Akir Tunneler, when Uldum is invaded by Akir. Rot Breath as well, when Uldum is attacked by Akir. Living Fluid from LFR Throne of Thunder. And of course Filthy Slime from Toldagor, which I cover recently on my channel. Link down below. So, Cuddly. Cuddly can be found in Vale of Eternal Blossom when a Black Empire invading it. He spawns on the platform above the ground. It takes time, 45 to, uh, minutes to 1 hour, and drop chance is quite low. However, he drops. He drops it, but maybe because chance is so low, it costs quite, quite a lot, because my realm is 70,000. Akir Tunneler, he can be dropped from Skiktras in Uldum while Akir invading it. Quite easy to kill, even on level 50. You can even park there some characters, because invasion lasts like 3 days. Rod Breath from Lord Akirai, he can be found uh, in Uldum as well when Akir invading it. He's quite tanky, takes some time, but level 60 easily solo it. Level 50 may struggle a little bit, but still easy to kill. He takes time to spawn, I don't know, hours something even. And Living Fluid from Primodius, only on LFR difficulty. There is also BOE farm. I did try it. Uh, Castle Nashia groups farming trash. I did try it, not to sell it, just to get gear, but didn't drop anything for me yet. Loads of people farming BOEs. I suggest if you have some time to spare, you could try it. Sadly, that's about it. I don't do anything more. I don't have that much time after all, but it's enough for me to pay for WoW, enough to pay for extra stuff like the anniversary thingy uh, from store, and more characters you have and more time means more gold you will acquire over time. So I hope you will get some gold from my tips. And if not, sorry, I try my best, but I'm not a huge fan of, of grinds, farm, in, insane farms and stuff. I like to play this game as well for fun. And farming gold isn't always fun. I hope you like it, and if yes, please subscribe to my channel. And till the next video, take care, bye bye.